Native to the land of North America, bagworm moth caterpillars are famous for their silken cocoon cases built with small sticks, twigs, and leaves, plastered with plant debris. Cabins are so perfectly symmetrically arranged that it fascinates every gaze. These bug architects actually spend most of their short lives weaving homes. The mature male bagworm moths have yellowish-white and brownish-black hairy features, with faces covered with a layer of brown hair. While on the contrary, mature female bagworms are soft-bodied larvae in yellowish-white color with no hair and no functional legs or antenna. Having a short-lived life cycle of approximately one year, the female caterpillar does not transform into a moth. Turning back to the pretty cabins, one thing about the cocoons is so interesting that you'll be blown away by the architectural perfection of these small larvae bags. These moth caterpillar cocoons are completely mobile and allow soft larvae to protect themselves from predators like insect parasites and birds. Due to its portability, they freely roam around the trees to feed on foliage and plant leaves. If you are a tourist, you would definitely like to visit Nebraska and Kansas to find these beautiful moths and larvae in abundance on trees like cedar, maple, and oak. The female bagworm larvae must remain in their cabins, whereas only the male larvae are capable of fully transforming themselves into moths. Once the male is transformed into a moth, he can mate with a female. The eggs are left inside the female bag, and the adults die, leaving the cabin with the eggs. The round, white eggs then hatch around May and June, and the baby larvae immediately start spinning their own cocoons with the same diligence and cleverness. You might be wondering if this architectural beauty can survive winds or damage. There are a couple of things that can affect these silk bags and larvae, mostly cold climates. As these bagworms don't have a coping mechanism for colder climates, the major reason for their short-lived life cycle is the same. However, rodents, birds, parasitic wasps, and heavy winds are some of the other reasons why most bags do not survive long to protect the eggs. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content in the future.